Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of my Green War that I just recently painted. It's very streaky. I've got a proposal for you, a pretty big proposal. And it's not saying like, this is what we're definitely doing. I wanna get some feedback on this from you guys and see whether it's something that you would like to do. Um, after the video, the video about IDOs and how they're such good opportunities to get into a coin early and make big gains, you know, 10 X's, is what we're seeing in game fight at the moment from public public sale to launch on the exchanges you're seeing a massive increase in token price and then people can even just straight away sell off whatever they've got you sometimes will get a vesting period so you might go and get 10 percent at token generation event but public sales so so lucrative to get in on but one of the chief complaints with every video that i do with an ido is what percentage am i actually getting for the amount i'm offering and in all honesty it it can be not a lot if you don't have a lot of capital to to invest so you can put like i put a thousand into gina pets and i got one gene which is worth currently about 18 dollars so i got 18 dollars for a thousand dollar investment it's terrible, terrible returns, isn't it? So is there a way that we can get around that? And so what happened was a, a, uh, a venture capitalist firm reached out to me who already invest in games and they invest in games at private sale. So public sales are lucrative, but private sales are even more lucrative because you're the first one who gets to buy the token and often you get the private sale token price reduced. So whereas at public sale on one instance, uh, it was 15 cents for one game, then at private sale, it was 12 cents. So from there, once it's gone to public sale, you've already made a 25% gain. And that's pretty standard. Private sales will be at a discount. I've, I've seen it, you know, go range from 5% for Soul Chicks recently. That was um, for people who were whitelisted, whitelist two, whitelist one got 10% on Soul Chicks. So getting in early means that there's big gains, much bigger gains to be made when it hits the market because you've already made that 25%. And so they reached out to me and said, why don't you uh, raise, try and raise capital of people who want to invest in tokens at private sale? So I I was, my first thought was like, no, I'm not thinking, I'm not, not trusting anybody with other people's money um, until I vetted this. So I looked into Antigua Ventures, made sure they were legit, asked them to send me transaction IDs, uh, showing evidence that they'd made these transactions to the companies. They were involved in Soul Chicks, you can check that out you can look in soul chicks that has antigua ventures in them i then spoke to soul chicks my contact there and said are these guys legit and they said yes and i was like are these telegrams of the uh, telegrams that you were talking to in the grip group which you sent me pictures of and they're like yep yeah, they're the exact ideas good people we've worked with them before they invested in soul chicks in the private sale so i vetted them and in terms of my confidence in them it's it's sky high like I, 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 they are who they say they are and they're legit and so I personally would invest in that point at that point and um this is purely a pro proposal I'm not doing it at this at this moment this is I want to get some feedback from what do you want to do because it's, it would be your money you'd be the ones investing it and this is how the process would go so I would I set up a wallet that would be a separate wallet that would be for purely raising capital and holding any tokens that are sent into that um i would be on bsc uh it would be a metamask wallet and if you wanted to be involved in the private sale of something i would obviously you know go through the example of what the game is there is a game that is potentially due in in January for a private sale and we could get an on. So I'll talk about that in a minute. But the process would be that you would send money to that wallet and then that wallet would, I'd ask it to be in USDT, once stable coin. Um, it would stay in that wallet and 
every time somebody sends something, I would ask that you send your transaction ID to my email so that I have a copy that tells me that which is your transaction ID, how much you've sent will just make it a bit easier. I can work it all out even without that information because I'll have your wallet address and it'll be all on BSC scan. I can see what's going in and how much. And then we would from there work out, you know, once we've raised a certain amount of capital, what is everybody's percentage and how many tokens would they get once we send that off. So let's say we raised $100,000. Now we have up to $600,000, by the way, of how much we could raise for this. Um, so let's say loads of people invested and we got reached up to $100,000. That token would be sent directly to the the game developers who would send the token. So for example, if, if we let's go back a month and we'd seen we, they were talking with Soul Chicks, they would say, Soul Chicks are having a private sale, send your token to this address. Um, I would make sure there was a SAFT agreement in place. If you don't know what that is, it's just an agreement of token allocation, uh, legally binding contract. And the money would be sent to their beneficiary wallet. And then what would happen is on token generation, we would receive our payment. So you might be that, you know, token generation event is 10%. So 10% would go to the wallet of whatever that is. So if it's 10 X, you're getting back whatever you put in. Um, and then I would send out those funds to those individual wallets. And then, you know, next month we might get another 10% send out the money to the wallet. That's a lot of work, by the way. That's that's a lot of sending individual wallet addresses, working out individual percentages, which is one reason why I'm not sure I'm going to do it. And I want to get a sense of how much would people invest, because we if we had like ten people that were like, okay, I'd invest ten grand into that, you know, that's going to make it. I could handle that. If you've got a thousand people investing ten dollars, that's just going to be too much to to, to work out. Um, and they've asked me just to ask what, what what would people be wanting to invest if you were keen in on, on this? Because I know there's some people in the group that I've spoken with before who who are willing to invest a lot of money in, in some projects. So that is one opportunity that, that is available. And obviously managing all that, I wouldn't do it for free. Like I'm not doing, I'm not putting all that work in. So I'd probably take like a 5% fee uh, from the whole, from every everybody, let's say everybody sends a hundred, um, five percent fee. I would take five dollars of what you put together, um, and that would be allocated to the channel to support the channel and support and pay probably my um, myself and my business partner, partner so to actually go through all that work out the percentages everybody's put it into an excel document work out how much allocation they're going to get then just go through every single transaction and, and post every wallet address and send the right amount to everybody it's a whole lot of work so yeah that's what would happen and you know you'd be potentially you'd be these private sales these are for me personally the ones that i'm already invested in these are like these are good things that are going to set me up for life, hopefully, because you're getting this regular income that at the moment that a lot of the projects I'm in have like a three month cliff in three months time. When that cliff ends, I'm going to be starting to get regular payments from Metheria, Monkey Ball, Soul Chicks, uh, Monster Infinity, like things that I've invested in personally. You've got things coming in the future and so I think this is a good opportunity and, and you know my channel is it's about creating good content hopefully on NFT gaming but it's also about empowering my community you know that's why I do watch to earn I want I want you guys to prosper as well that's why I'm like picking projects that I think are worthy of your investment and um, so that's it that's 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 the 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 pitch the idea at the moment of what we could do if you guys wanted so I'm shrinking um, so let me know if it's something that you would be interested in and please post in the comments section how much would you invest max uh, in a project 
you obviously get free reign to choose um, what it is that you invest in. If you don't like a project, you're not in on it. So the first project that they have is, let's take a look at it. It's not Soul Chicks. That's one that they were already invested in. So if you go to Soul Chicks, you can check it out. Go to Partners. You can see the investors. Where are they? Wow, there's a lot of people investing in this project. I'm telling you, this project's going to be absolutely massive. Massive. They are... It would be easier to find it on there. On the right, so it's on the right side. There we go. Antigua Ventures. So, they're legit, and they're investing in good projects. Soul Chicks is going to be massive. Anyway, so the next project, they're, they're looking, they've got a private sale allocation of up to $600,000 is Nomadland. And this game looks cool. It's, it's actually got a really quick roadmap to it as well. So, it's going to be an... NFT action RPG and strategy game built on Unreal Engine. You can dive into Nomad Universe and win tokens as you can, as you play. You get rewards when you stake or make BNB purchases in the game. In-game NFTs are obtained by Big Monster and Carnival Plant Fights. The NFTs are not the typical collectible card NFTs so common in crypto today. Instead, the usable functional NFTs that can be inserted into the Nomad Land game framework and become special in-game items such as weapons, armors, special moves, and superpowers. And these NFTs can be bought or sold both in-game exchanges or in third-party NFT exchanges outside of the game world. All these elements are built and run on the Binance Smart Chain, each function intertwined with the blockchain and the Nomad in-game currency and these functions. So I'm not going to go into massive detail about this project. Um, go visit, I'll put the link to it and you can check out the description. But the key the key things that I looked at was that, you know, what's the game about? Does it look like it's playable? Yes, for me, it looks like a fun game. The artwork looks sick, looks really good. Uh, they've got a good kind of concept to it. This is just the concept art, which I think is really, 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 really good standard and will look great in the game. A native token, gameplay, more concept art, a little mood board of what they're trying to, what the scene is going to, the atmosphere is going to be in the game. Different NFTs, so different weapons. So they've already done a lot of work on the artwork side of things. And, and I was like, well, you know what, what's, what's the roadmap on this? Because it's gonna, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing up Q22, Q2 2022 for game releases now. And, you know, in 2022, Q1, that's when testnet and beta access is available. So we'll already get to play it next year, which isn't long away. Then Q2, Nomadland game goes live. So it's going to be ready to play. So a very, very quick roadmap for a game of its size. Um, and, you know, we're in this being that 10 percent private round. The things you need to know about that would be that it would be 8.5 percent token generation event. Um, so if it if you put in one thousand dollars and let's say it 12 X um, and then you times that by. 0.085 you would get your money back 1020 so all you need is it for it to, to 12x from private from um private sale oh, no, yeah yeah from private sale actually no you wouldn't because look this is the discount you get on private sale for this one 15 cents per token at private sale and then you come to public sale and it's 25 cents you're getting a huge discount on that you be gaining 65, 66% when it goes to public sale. An extra 66%, an extra 10 cents. That's massive difference, a massive discount because already you've nearly 2X'd. And then from then, you know, if it 10X's, you're making massive gains, you know, 16,000. So yeah, if, if it if it 10X'd off that, say you put in a thousand you've made that extra 66 percent so it's now at 
1660. Then what you're looking at is it 10 X in and then you get your 8.5.085 percent and you're looking at 1410 then so you're making a $400 uh, dollars on token generation event and then you're getting the same quarterly for the next year you're getting a salary basically of $1,400 if it stays the same if it goes higher obviously you're making more money um quarterly for a year is pretty good yeah so tg rest quarterly for one year so that would be you're getting just less than 25 percent yeah really big opportunity potentially um but it's it's only, only about you know what you what you would want to do and then another thing is that like you're trusting me you're trusting me with your money and not to take that money and do anything untoward with it uh and I, I can't say any more than otherwise you know just destroy me on youtube if I, if i ever did that but I, w I wouldn't i'm not in the i'm not in the business of taking making money to the extent of like uh, just you know being a dick to be honest i am somebody who wants to enrich my community and put us all to prosper on you know, the research we're doing the time that you're spending watching the video so i think this is a, it's a good investment opportunity it's not set set on the table like they said that if you want it it's there but it's you who've got to want it and gotta say yep i trust you enough to send my money to you in this wallet and then be able to wait until that comes we'd probably set up a, a separate telegram group by the way as well just for everybody's invested so we can keep everybody up to date so it's not like any you know if you've got a question i think when where's my money i haven't received any yet it could be a case of oh yeah token generation event isn't till the 16th of so what um whenever and then just a little you know i think when you want good communication about where is they so yeah let me know down in the comment section below really what would your thoughts be on this how much would you reasonably invest maximum in being able to do in private sales so we can add it all up and say look we're only going to be able to raise 10,000 I don't think that's going to be enough for, for you um, but yeah I don't know who's got some people might have big pockets in this uh, so if we decide to go ahead with it and I'll do a more in-depth review of Nomad's Land but what I've looked for it so far it looks like a good project it looks legit everything is uh, in good working order so it's a case of just seeing whether people want to and then i'll do a dedicated video on it so you know exactly what you're investing into okay that's all for this one thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed it if you have please leave a like on the video hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that is all for me see you guys soon